Hey guys, welcome back to Solve Question Paper series. We are solving 18th scheme M1 question paper from September 2020 exam. This question is from second module. So before going to solutions, please subscribe to our channel for more engineering math videos. So the question is given u v w, u v w are function of three variables x y z. X y z are independent variables, and u v w are function of these three variables. We need to show that differentiation of u v w with respect to x y z is minus x square cos y. So these type of differentiation, differentiation of function of three variables with respect to three independent variables are called Jacobians. Okay, so very straightforward question. Uh, it involves uh, solving a. How do you find this Jacobian? It involves solving a determinant, a three cross three, three by three determinant. The elements of this determinant are like this. In the first row, you have u, u and u. In the second row, you have v, v and v. In the third row, you have w, w and w and in the first column sub x sub x sub x it is partial differentiation of u with respect to x partial differentiation of v with respect to x partial differentiation of w with respect to x similarly with respect to y with respect to z so there are three functions three variables three independent variables so there are nine partial differentiation you have to do and substitute them in the uh, determinant and uh, solve this determinant to find the Jacobian. Okay, so let's uh, write this determinant first. So the first element is u sub x, that is partial differentiation of u with respect to x. So we have to consider cos y and cos z as constant. Differentiation of x with respect to x is 1. So the first element is 1 cos y cos z. Cos y cos z. The second element is uy, partial differentiation of u with respect to y. So x and cos z are constant. Differentiation of cos y is minus sin y. So it is minus x sin y cos z. Right. U sub z. So the partial differentiation with respect to z is differentiation of cos z is minus sin z. So that's minus x cos y as it is. Cos z becomes sin z. Okay. So these are the first. First, this is the first row of the determinant. The second row, v sub x means partial differentiation of v with respect to x. That means differentiation of x is one cos y sin z as it is. So that is 1 cos y sin z. Differentiation with respect to y means differentiation of cos y is minus sin y x and sin z as it is. So that is minus x sin y sin z. Differentiation with respect to z means only sin z. Differentiation of sin z is cos z x cos y as it is. x cos y cos z. Okay. Wx partial differentiation with respect to x is 1 times sin y. Partial differentiation to y is differentiation of sin y is cos y x as it is. So it is x cos y. Differentiation, partial differentiation with respect to z is there are no z terms. Both x, x sin y are constant. Differentiation of constant is 0. Okay. Now let's evaluate this determinant. How do you evaluate a determinant? You evaluate a determinant using any of the row or column. I will use the third row because there is already a third element is 0. And after choosing a row, you have to write plus minus plus. If it's a corner row. If it's a middle row or middle column, you write minus plus minus. And after writing this, the first term is plus sine y into a into d minus b into c. So this into this minus this into this. Okay. So if you multiply these two, minus x into x is x square sine y cos y, sine y cos y, cos z into cos z is cos square z. Minus this into this, minus into minus plus, x into x is x square, sin y cos y, sin y cos y, sin z into sin z is sin square z. Okay. Next, uh, minus x cos y, minus x cos y, minus x square, this into this minus this into this. So, cos y cos z, cos y cos z, x is x cos square y cos square z, minus this into this. So there's already minus here, there's already minus here, it will become plus. Cos y sin z, cos y sin z, x is x cos square y sin square z. Okay. So now we have to evaluate the further. So here, if you see, if you uh, factor out minus x square sin y and minus x square sin y, what will remain? Cos square z plus sin square z. Okay. If you factor out minus also, it will remain cos square z plus sin square z which is just 1 because cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. Okay. Similarly, 
if you factor out x, x, x cos square y and x cos square y, cos square z plus sin square z will remain. Again, it is 1. Okay. So, I will write a sin y as it is. If I factor out minus x square sin y cos y, what will remain here? Cos square z plus uh, here sin square z, okay, which is this, this is directly uh, immediately becomes 1, okay, minus x cos y minus x cos y. If you factor out x, co x cos square y, what will remain? Here you have cos square z plus uh, here you have sin square z. Okay, again this will become 1 because cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 anywhere, okay, for any of the z values. So now this will become minus uh, x square uh, sin y into sin y is sin square y cos y, okay, minus uh, x into x is x square cos y into cos square y, cos y into cos square y, okay. So if you see, I have minus x square cos y minus x square cos y. If you factor out minus x square cos y, what will happen? Minus x square cos y, if you factor out here, sin square y will be remaining, sin square y will be remaining here, plus cos square y will be remaining, plus cos square y. What is sin square theta plus cos square theta? Again, it is equal to 1. Okay. So, this entire de determinant evaluates to minus x square cos y, which is what we are asked to prove. So, the Jacobian uh, do you uh, differ differentiation with respect uh, differentiation of u v w with respect to x y z is minus x square cos y for this three u v w functions? Okay, this is how you solve a Jacobian question in the examination. If you want to learn more about M1 and solve more questions, please do check out our course. Link is in the description. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one.